Everyone has that area in their house, a drawer <laughs> that is absolutely chocked full of stuff. Stuff. You don't know where it goes. Yeah. And, but you know stuff is in there that it's you that need. Drawer. Oh, yeah. When you need a safety pin right now, there's no one place you put safety pins, right? They're everywhere. You put it in that drawer. For or me, it's elastic the bands. Pins. Elastic bands. For yeah. me, it's elastic bands. Yeah. And pens that don't work. I have tons <laughs> of pens that don't work. So do I. The Why ones do I that keep work, those? they always disappear. Let's say I find out what you're talking about, what's on your mind, because just because we lead with a certain story doesn't mean it's uh, top in your mind. So yeah. what are people uh, trending uh, this morning on BT? Well, it just so happens we were talking about the I Stand with Ahmed story, and that continues to trend online as well. A lot of people talking about that. Um, we showed uh, the shot of Ryerson a little earlier, the, um, uh, the, the statue. And that, the clock, and the with clock, the clock on that says, it. I Stand with Ahmed. Yeah, we... Ryerson's um, Muslim Student Association also tweeted a photo of the, the same statue that they had uh, helped put together, and, and there's a group of, of them. You can see there it is right there. Um, and, and a bunch of students there. So they're so, the ones, so that's the same, vi do we have that video, Barb, if we could just find the Ryerson video? So they were the ones that put it up. Yeah. Uh, here's a picture of them putting it up. And here is, uh, here is the, uh, the result of that. So How there you great go. is it, you know, the, just 24 hours ago, he went through the worst day of his life, traumatizing, getting handcuffed, and now the opposite. The world's coming together, showing support, the likes of President Obama. Twitter has offered him an internship, and uh, Google saying that he's welcome to the science fair and, and to well, create whatever he wants. We've, we've had uh, Commander Hadfield, who, by the way, will be mm -hmm. here on Breakfast Television in about a week and a half. Is he? Um, we have uh, him tweeting out saying, come on to the science show in Toronto. Uh, and we have the Four Seasons Toronto say, we have a room for you as well. So, awesome. And it was just, I found it very amazing that Obama was so quick to, to be on this and respond. That's a dangerous a territory for a politician uh, because it could go either way. So he felt very strongly about this. Good on him for, uh, for coming out in support as well. Yeah, no, so uh, lots, lots of uh, great reaction. And it's, I think it's, it's a nice heartwarming story to see this story turn into this positive conversation. And it's a conversation. Now we need the, the police department in Irving, Texas, and the school to stand up and say simply, we made a mistake, we overreacted. Own yeah. up, Own absolutely. Own up. So what do you got to do? Yeah, um, and we're also continuing to talk about taxis right now. You guys started this chat a little earlier. That was what is, was on the mind of our, our uh, minds of our, our viewers, the conversation between Uber and taxis. Um, and, and we had someone tweet us uh, here, um, you know, what's important to him is uh, better, cleaner, and more comfortable rides mm -hmm. for cheaper. That's what matters to customers. And I think the base fares is something that a lot of people are talking about. The taxis debating whether knocking that base fare down would convince people to ride yeah. in taxis the, more often. What people don't realize, though, that beyond the debate of Uber, there is, was a debate that raged in Toronto for years, and it sort of died off. And the fact is, the taxi industry in Toronto is extremely unfair. It's a few licenses owned by a few people, and the people who you see driving your cabs are usually not the ones that own the licenses, and they have to work their butts off just to make ends meet. So this Monopoly. is especially tough on them mm -hmm. yeah. as well. So you know what? We have to find a resolution and, and uh, try and regulate. Absolutely. All right. Thank you very much. You can always, always uh, talk with us, even after the show. Yeah, all the time. And, and thank you, to, by the way, to everybody who uh, was on BT Extra. So many of you, thousands of comments that our uh, extra site actually went down for yeah, a little crashed. bit. They I crashed had to catch it. up and yeah, approve everything so I that the site would go back it. up. So thank you, everybody. All right. Uh, we'll be back with more Breakfast Television right after this. Breakfast Television is brought to you by Leon's. For furniture, mattresses, appliances, and TVs, you'll find your style at leons or leons.ca.